So today I wanted to wrap up my reading for September. I can't believe September is already over, but I did quite a bit of reading in September. I'm happy with the reading that I did, so I just wanted to really quickly go over the books that I read, the ratings I gave them, and all that good stuff. So jumping right in, um, the first book I finished in September, I almost said October, <laughs> Uh, the first book I finished in September was Noir by Nettie Okorafor. I gave it four stars. It was a short little book. I got it from the library. Um, it was a science fiction about a girl who had body augmentations because of, you know, birth defects and an accident that she was in. These body augmentations kind of made her a, t a bit of a target and something happened that spurred on the whole story and basically the story is her on the run. Um, and trying to figure figure out what's going on. That is, that's kind of the best summary I can give it. It's a very short book, so I mean, if that sounds interesting, you might as well just read it. I think it was only like 214 pages, but it was really good. Like I said, I gave it four stars. I enjoyed it. I need to check out more by this author. Um, I know she's written a bunch of other stuff. Other than that, the rest of the books that I read, well, save for one. Most of the other books I read were for Bookopolathon and in just the order that I have them on my tracker because honestly my brain isn't really working right now so I can't remember what order I read them in. But The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. It's a quick little play. Well, what I thought was going to be a quick little play. It's 100 pages but it took me all month to read. Um, I gave it three stars overall just because, you know, there was nothing really wrong with it. It is a classic. I don't know if it's necessarily one of his more popular plays. It's definitely not like, you know, a Romeo and Juliet or a Macbeth or whatever, but it was okay. It was all right. I enjoyed the story, but I wouldn't like reread it. Um, and honestly, I'm not sure if I'll even keep this copy of it because I just, it was all right. It wasn't my favorite. Another book I finished was The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. That one I gave three stars. In that one we are following a girl who wants to marry the Shadow King. So basically so she can kill him and steal his power. She's a very power hungry type of girl. Um, that's not really my favorite kind of story. I don't honestly know why I thought I would like it. I don't know why I thought I would enjoy that book. Um, like I said, I did give it three stars. It was okay, but in general, I don't particularly love fantasy stories about just like power hungry, kind of morally gray main characters. I like there to be a little bit more to my story than that. It's kind of what I didn't like about like The Cruel Prince. Was it The Cruel Prince? Yeah, how she was just obsessed with power. That's not really my kind of story, but um, when I first heard about it, I think it was because it was related to Akatar, which I did really like, but it's not really anything like that. You know, I heard it pitched as like a hate to love story. It wasn't really a whole lot of that either. Um, but I mean, it was okay. It was a good time while I was reading it. Would I reread it? No. Am I really like gung ho to check out something else by this author? No. Uh, but it was okay. It was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. If that's your type of story, if you like those really like power hungry protagonists. Go for it. You might like it. Next I read what was probably my favorite read of the month and that is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I loved this. I listened to the audiobook. I couldn't quite give it a whole five stars. I don't really know why because the more I think about it the more I'm like oh man I loved that book. So maybe my rating will change to a five star. I don't know. But I did give it four stars. I really enjoyed my time with this book. I liked the characters. Uh, I listened to the audiobook. I think I already said that. I enjoyed the audiobook. I think it was well done. And yeah, I just, I really, I, I loved this book. It was great. I can't believe it took me so long to read it. Um, and I will definitely be picking up the second one in October. The last book I actually finished in September was Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. That finished out a duology for me. Um, it was a duology following the Remnant Chronicles series, which is a trilogy by Mary E. Pearson. It, the, um, the Dance of Thieves duology takes place in the same world a few years later. Uh, I enjoyed it. It took me a while to get back into it because it's been probably a couple years at least since I read Dance of Thieves. Uh, so it took me a little bit to kind of get reintroduced to the characters and kind of remember where I was in the story. 
but once I was in it, I really loved it. I've said before, Mary E. Pearson's writing just really works for me. I just, I love it. I don't know what it is. I find it very engaging, very hard for me to put down, and I just really like her storytelling style. So that book really worked for me. And even with the fact that I was a little lost for the first like third of the book, <laughs> I still ended up giving it four stars because I really enjoyed it. Um, and then for things that I didn't quite finish, if you've seen my Bookopolathon vlogs, this is going to be a little bit repetitive for the most part. I started Well Matched. I got about 212 pages in. I have pretty much exactly 100 pages left of this. I like this. I haven't had a chance to really pick it up physically. Um, and actually the most reading I did in this was probably on my Kindle. I ended up getting it from the library because I have more time to read on my Kindle than I do reading a physical book. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Like, just like reading before bed or when I wake up in the morning before my husband is awake. I don't want to turn on lights to read a physical book, but my Kindle is backlit and it's kind of dark. So it's fine. Um, but yes, I am hoping to finish this in October. It didn't quite fit in my uh, Trick or Treatathon TBR, which is the readathon that I'm doing in October, but I will be finishing this anyway. I'll figure out how to fit it in. So that's that. And I got, okay, The Dragon Reborn, my read through of The Wheel of Time. I am 78% through the audiobook for that, so I will also be finishing that in October, hopefully. I have said before as well, <laughs> I feel like I just say the same thing in all of my videos, but um, I'm not rushing through the Wheel of Time. I don't have myself on a time schedule. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm going to finish a book a month or anything like that. I'm just kind of reading that at my leisure and it'll get done when it's done. That's fine. Um, I don't really have much to say about this one and what I do have to say I will say in my reading through the Wheel of Time video but so far it's not really my favorite. We're getting a lot of a particular character that I don't care for um, and if you want to know more about that you can just wait and watch the Dragon Reborn reading through the Wheel of Time video when it comes out. So oh no actually I do have one more thing that I was reading throughout the month of September that I did not finish and that is a not so meet cute by Megan Quinn. I was reading that on my Kindle. Um, I'm like 60% through it now, 65. So I'll finish that in October as well. I was able to fit that onto my trick or treatathon TBR. So that worked out. Honestly, it probably wouldn't get above a three star from me by the time I finish it. But we'll see. We'll have to wait and see in October when I actually finish it. But I mean, yeah, it's not there's nothing. It's not terrible. It's not the greatest. Her writing is actually pretty decent. I I guess I do kind of like it in terms of her writing. Her characters are funny. That That is something about it, I will say. It's not like my favorite romance book ever. It's not my least favorite romance book ever. But what I do enjoy about it is Megan Quinn is funny. <laughs> like, I've actually laughed out loud several times while reading that book. So... Which isn't great considering a lot of the Kindle reading I do is at like 4.30 in the morning when I wake up and my husband's not awake yet and then I'm sitting there like laughing out loud <laughs> waking him up. But I like it. It's funny. It makes me laugh. Alright, so that's it. Those are all the books that I read in September. I can't believe September is already over. Book up all the is over. Uh, yeah, and we're just marching right along. We're into October. I have some awesome books planned for October that I am very excited about. Uh, again, I'm participating in Trick or Treatathon, so I'm excited about that. And yeah, we'll just see how I do in October. Maybe I can read even more in October than I did in September. Fingers crossed, because like I said, I have a lot of really good books on my October TBR that I'm excited to read. So let me know if you've read any of these books, if you felt the same, if you felt different. I would particularly love to know your thoughts if you've read this book like what you think of the rest of the trilogy because I'm really excited about it and I'm hoping that I'm not like overdoing it and gonna let myself down like I'm overhyping it in my mind but I really enjoyed this book so I'm very excited to read the rest of this trilogy. All right that's it from me today. Let me know how you did in September with your reading especially if you participated in Bookopolathon did you win? I think technically I lost because I had a few books that I didn't finish but 
I got a lot of reading done, especially compared to August where I only read three books, so I'm still counting myself as a winner. Whether I am officially or not, I am in my own mind. <laughs> so yeah, let me know how you did with your reading in September, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!